Hi, my name is Tyhees Gibson and I'm the creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about three core reasons DAs tend to pull away when in the dating stage of a relationship. So we're gonna cover a little bit about, the, about these core reasons, why they tend to happen, and a little bit about what you can do if you are the DA and finding yourself go through these patterns, or if you are the partner of a DA and want to be able to close the gap here and communicate through these patterns. Before I dive into this, um, I wanna make a quick announcement that I'm very excited about. We, as I've mentioned once or twice on here before, um, are launching an eight week training program followed by three months of follow-up webinars um, about how to become an integrated attachment theory coach and help people reprogram their attachment styles, um, work through relationship pain points and problems. We're gonna cover core wounds, how reprogramming works at the subconscious level, how to build a business um, that's specifically online on your own terms, your own schedule, um, and how to be successful at doing that along with all of the different tools that I teach here at PDS, um, inclusive of things like shadow work as it relates to relationships, um, boundaries, communication, all the main things that I have on this channel with obviously a huge highlight around the different attachment style patterns, the core wounds, the needs, the expectations, and how to reprogram and become secure. So you can use this either as an individual who wants to help people um, change and shift and heal their own attachment traumas and attachment style, or um, somebody who wants to work with couples specifically. So there's a little bit of, it, of this in the program for how to organize this for both. Um, again, it is 30 hours. It is live. I have about 15 seats left right now as I record this video. Um, and it begins in July. If you would like to sign up or if you would like to um, just grab the recorded version and, and get, gain the certification by taking the test afterwards, that is all available. Um, the the all the stuff that you need will be in a link in the description box below if you want to learn more watch the video go through the itinerary all that kind of stuff um so with all of that being said let's talk about the core reasons dismissive avoidance pull away when dating so one of the first reasons is and this is, is specifically when they're in the dating stage of a relationship one of the first reasons is if the dismissive avoidant feels invaded um dismissive avoidance as we know tend to feel invaded quite easily and if they feel like there's too much coming in too soon, it can really feel like it's this like threat to them feeling safe, that the, a threat to them feeling like they're gonna lose their sense of self or identity or autonomy. And because they associate so much of like being okay and surviving in life with like them meeting their needs on their own and then being able to sort of trust and control how they're gonna show up, if in the early stage of dating, it feels like there's too much of a pushiness around things, there's too much expectation, um, there's too much demand, there's gonna be this loss of like their time with themselves they need to regulate and stay stable, um, then this can feel very threatening and will be one of the biggest reasons that dismissive avoidance pull away when in that dating stage. So definitely something to watch out for. The second thing um, is if they feel shamed in any form. I, I see a lot of times people when they're dating a dismissive avoidant will say things like, oh, um, you know, poke fun or do that to be like playful or joking. But something that would might surprise you is that dismissive avoidants often really don't like this. Um, in certain cases, they can think it's funny, but for the vast majority of the time, dismissive avoidants are very sensitive to this. They take criticism very personally. It really hurts them. It can really sting. And they feel like threatened and uncomfortable and even unsafe around the person who's being that way with them. So dismissive avoidants tend to really like push away when they see this taking place and they tend to push away um, when they feel like there's criticism, shaming, judgment, anything that's like lacking acceptance or support, they can really take to heart. So definitely a really good thing to, to pay attention to. And the third thing that's the, the top three things um, is if there's a lack of harmony. Um, surprisingly, uh, for some people, um, dismissive avoidance really want that like stability, that safety, that that comfort. Of course, if you've been watching these videos for a long time, you know that already. But like, um, you know, I find that a lot of fearful avoidance, for example, think that like, oh, the roller coaster is passionate and it represents like a spark. And if there's chaos, that's normal. And it means that we're like really connected. But dismissive avoidance, that will make you like pull away and shy away and feel uncomfortable again, um, especially because dismissive avoidance often feel a sense of learned helplessness when it comes to really working through conflict in relationships. And so what you really want to be able to do if you are the DA is work through establishing healthy boundaries um, and being able to communicate the boundaries. And DAs are often good with those really big boundaries, but not as great with like the small boundaries and saying like, hey, I just, you know, I don't want to text as much today or, you know, just like the small things that happen on a daily basis. And once you get better at that, you'll feel like you can keep your sense of self while dating and you won't feel so afraid if somebody does something invasive by accident, you'll be able to just communicate through it and, and make it a solvable problem. The second thing 
is it's going to be very, very important that you communicate and let somebody know, hey, you know, criticism, I, I don't always take lightly. Sometimes that can affect me a little bit. And I prefer not to, you know, make jokes around this, these areas, or if you can just let somebody know you're sensitive to criticism at a high level overall, um, that will really prevent a lot of potential pain points later on that may have gone unnoticed by the person on the, the giving end of the criticism or the joke or the teasing that, that may really truly have no idea how they're impacting you. And the last thing is to let somebody know something you're looking for in a relationship is harmony, support, acceptance. Um, because when you let somebody know, they understand, okay, these are the things that are important to you. And I can see if I can show up for those things or not. And if not, then I can politely excuse myself if I don't think this is a good situation. But the vast majority of people are going to say, of course, I can be mindful of that and care for those things and show up as a partner that way. Um, so really powerful stuff. If you are in the receiving, if you are on the dating end of the, the dismissive avoidant, be mindful about respecting space, be mindful about how criticism may come across um, and communicate proactively instead of reactively. Like if you still need more time, it doesn't mean don't have needs and state that hey, I need more time in, in a relationship or I need quality time or I need consistency or whatever it might be that you need, have those conversations, but just know that these are the pain points and will often be the things that trigger a DA to feel misunderstood and like afraid um, rather than if you just have healthy conversations about them. These can be things that just get mitigated as potential problems in advance and can make the relationship last and thrive a lot more easily. So that's it for today. If you want to check out very in-depth attachment style courses for free, all about the dismissive avoidant for the next seven days, you can click the link in the description box below and you can type in dismissive avoidant when you enter into the school. Or if you want to do a deeper dive and are considering being um, a coach specifically as it relates to the subconscious mind reprogramming attachment theory tools, um, then you can also click the link to the video below that has more information for you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.